Time is crucial after a patient has a heart attack. Interventions such as angioplasty and implanting a stent to open blocked arteries are potentially life-saving procedures. Massachusetts, New York, and Pennsylvania are required to publicly report the outcomes of these procedures. That makes hospitals incented to improve, and it also gives consumers a chance to look at that information and try to go to the best possible hospital. But some say making this information public could cause hospitals to avoid taking care of the sickest patients. These procedures can sometimes be life-saving, and we really don't want there to be any incentive for a hospital to not provide one of these procedures if it's necessary. Dr. Karen Joint from the Harvard School of Public Health and co-authors studied almost 50,000 Medicare patients in Massachusetts, New York, and Pennsylvania treated for heart attacks. Researchers compared them to similar patients in seven other regional non-reporting states. Patients having heart attacks in the public reporting states had about 20% lower odds of receiving one of these procedures than patients in other states. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We didn't see any big changes in mortality across these groups, suggesting that some of the procedures that were foregone were probably futile, but some of the procedures were probably necessary. Massachusetts started public reporting in 2005. In Massachusetts, prior to public reporting, rates of this procedure were about the same as they were in the rest of the country. But after public reporting kicked in, we saw that that rate started to fall. And Massachusetts in particular has done a lot of work to try to, to mitigate that risk and, and to try to help physicians and hospitals feel comfortable taking care of sick patients. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.